Each year, a former ITV student returns to inspire us. Presented on the screens above, here is Mr. Aaron Joe, a few years back as a fifth grader from North Lakeland Elementary School. He also attended Lake Gibson Middle and Senior, and he was an ITV student for 12 years, beginning as a first grader. Now, he continues his education at Georgia Tech, where he received his first degree, Bachelor's of Science in Science, Technology, and Culture, and is seeking a second, second degree, a Bachelor's of Science in Business Administration. It is our pleasure to welcome to the stand, Mr. Aaron Joe. To the Honorable Superintendent, Mrs. Leroy, Deputy Superintendent, Mrs. Bird, Dr. Tina Barrios, Assistant Superintendent of Technology, and school board members present here today. Also to the administrators here tonight, especially uh, Mrs. Dawson from uh, my former high school, Lake Gibson High School. and to the ITV, ITV family. Good evening. A special thanks tonight to the classroom teachers and video production teachers here tonight, for they have invested countless hours preparing you for this very night. To the parents that drove us to locations, weekend workshops, late night study sessions, and also helped us with scripts. And lastly, but not least, the tech staff that made sure that all our equipment worked properly and the studios were working. Students, please stand up and give them a resounding round of applause. <laughs> to the ITV family, it's an honor to speak to you tonight. And to my mom and dad who inspired me, disciplined me, motivated me, and expected me to uphold the Joe name at all time. My love and gratitude is balanced. Thank you, parents. Love you both. I want to thank personally Mr. Michael Robinson, my first elementary school video production teacher. He pushed me to give my best and demanded me to be extraordinary when ordinary was not enough. He was the one to make sure that I took one more take one more edit, one more clip, because that would always be better than your last. He taught me the potential for success. And Mr. Robinson, you were the spark that ignited my passion for video production. <laughs> to Ms. Wendy Settleberg. <laughs> my middle school video production teacher. Her gentle but meticulous guidance made our team second to none in the county. She taught me how to work with the ITC, ITV software and be an example for my team. She pushed our middle school team to reach its highest limits and success here at the Video Awards. Thank you, Ms. Settleberg. <laughs> and lastly, Ms. Laura McNabb, my high school video production teacher. If you go to Lake Gibson, you already know who Ms. McNabb is. She's a relentless uh, <laughs> teacher, and, <her> de <laughs> and she made sure that everything we did was factual, creative, and made sure we put the artistic touch on each project and it enabled us to garner numerous achievements. She made sure that we put the time in to be the best team. I can remember sometimes being late to football practice, making sure I finished up project for Ms. McNabb. It was all worth it. These individuals helped fuel my passion for video production, technology, and journalism. They instilled in me the importance of hard work, teamwork, and most importantly, going the extra mile. I had the pleasure of being a part of the most dominant teams in ITV history. For your guidance, motivation, I will forever be grateful and thankful. My experience and knowledge from being in the best ITV program in the nation did not stop once I graduated high school. 
Today, the lessons that I learned years ago reside in me daily. This past December, I, did, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in science, technology, and culture from the Georgia Institute of Technology. <laughs> Thank you. The premier college in the nation in terms of technology, which is ranked number seven among public universities in the country, and according to Business Insider Magazine, the number one smartest college in the nation. <laughs> Presently at Georgia Tech, I am pursuing a second bachelor's in business, business administration, and I'm pursuing in next fall a master's in economics. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> None of these things would have been possible if it wasn't for the Polk County school system. I went to Georgia Tech on a football scholarship. However, I was an academic, academic student first, graduated high school with a 4.1 GPA, making sure that all my academics were taken care of before athletics and before video production. <laughs> As a red shirt junior on the Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket football team, by the way, we had a historic season going 11 and three this season and almost beat Florida State in the ACC championship. <laughs> we're, we're coming for them next year. I was the, right, the starting right tackle, tackle for the 2014 Orange Bowl champions, being Mississippi State very convincingly, and which came with a little bling bling as well. <laughs> if I am blessed with opportunity to go to the NFL, I will still use the numerous skills that I acquired through the ITV in the future. These skills transferred into my college success from the countless video projects and presentations, including one for, in particular from my business management class, which discussed the competitive advantage over Apple and how their innovation keeps them ahead of a game. For the Georgia Tech Cable News Network, where I was an executive producer and also was the star of my own weekly show on the flats that took, a light, that took an inside look of the lives of student athletes on campus. Or Barton Executive Search, where I was a research analyst who helped recruit top tier talent into Fortune 500 companies. I also created a women and girls STEM project for Verizon Wireless while I was there. And I'm happy to let you know I recently received an internship with Coca-Cola Studios this summer. The creative force behind every Coca-Cola commercial and advertisement you see. It feels just like yesterday I was in your shoes, anxiously awaiting for what the night might bring hoping that the judge's odds were in my favor, and hoping that when I win, if I did win, that I wouldn't forget my speech, and most importantly, forget, won't forget, wouldn't forget how to thank all those people who made it possible. But take time to reflect on the times that brought you back to this moment, everybody's favorite time of the year, the week before all tapes are due, the perfect time for Murphy's Law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. This includes, and not limited to, recording a segment with no sound, missing equipment, forgetting to charge up the battery before you go on location, media files going offline, rendering problems, and let's not forget, forgetting to press the save button. Through these series of unfortunate events can set you back, but how you respond is what really matters. I call these defining moments that show what you're really made of and reviews and reveals true character through adversity. Helen Keller once said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision clear, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Tonight I want to leave you with three points. Number one, how to deal with adversity. Adversity is an inevitable part of life and overcoming it is essential to becoming successful in life. What you're experiencing now is preparing you for the life ahead. As hard as it may seem, it can actually be a positive thing. There's a saying that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and everything happens for a reason. This is certainly true for all of us when we look at adversity as a lesson instead of letting us drag you down. Many times, I would hear a little voice in my head saying, you can't do it. But I had to simply remind myself that persistence is the foundation of success. Although there are many ways to describe success, 
the only true way to define failure is by giving up. So that little voice in my head changed to, you got it, and you can do it. I can recall this past football season on our final regular season game against our rival, the Georgia Bulldogs. No one gave us a chance to beat them. I took it as an opportunity to prove doubters wrong, and that's exactly what I did when my team came out of Athens, Georgia, Athens, Georgia with a victory. Secondly, have a passion for what you love. Passion is the energy that keeps us going. Keep us filled with meaning, happiness, excitement, and anticipation. Passion is a powerful force in accomplishing anything you set your mind to. Passion is what wakes me up every morning. My passion for football and my passion for being the best at everything I do fuels me daily. That's why I put in extra work to perfect my craft and be better on and off the football field. Everyone can settle for being average, but it takes a special few to break the mold of mediocrity. I had this same passion, just like you, for video production when I was your age. Each day, I woke up with new ideas about the daily shows, concepts for commercials, new music video ideas, and if you went to school with me, that was every day. My favorite would be begging the ITV crew to give me the months in advance for their summer workshops so that I could have an understanding of the software and teach it to the members of my crew in preparation for the upcoming season to have the one up on <laughs> rival schools like George Jenkins. <laughs> That's the passion that each and every one should approach with everything you do. That's in the classroom and in the studio. Lastly, surround yourself with people who will help you achieve your goals. That includes everyone on your crew, from the editor, to the cameraman, to the anchor. Leaning on them will not only make you stronger, but make them stronger as well. Teamwork surely does make the dream work. And teamwork is extremely important in the success of any team. It's about working as one unit to achieve your goal. Teamwork and selflessness create the backbone for any great team. This last, teason, this last season, my team epitomized what teamwork really means. We were expected to finish fourth in the Atlantic Coastal Conference, and today we are ranked number eight in the nation. We created an unbreakable bond and incredible relationships that are still strong, which ultimately led to our success. You can have a group of superstars. You can have the best talent, the best editors, best cameraman, and the best teacher. But if you don't work together as a unit, the chances are you're not gonna be as successful as you think. My team had the same goals. And most importantly, we require each and every one to give their personal best for the good of the cause. In closing, if you can overcome adversity, have a passion for all that you do, and surround yourself with positive people with similar goals as you, as you, you can have infinite, infinite success. All these lessons were acquired through my, I, my duration as an ITV student, and I take them everywhere I go. I hope you do the same, let your light shine, and be a role model for others. As I conclude, I am reminded of my favorite scripture, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not into the own, thy own understanding. In all, in all way, always acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Thank you for having me tonight. It's been an honor, and congratulations to you all.